Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Ash. Welcome to my channel, Saved by an Angel, where I talk about anything that has to do with paranormal weird stuff and self-improvement. Because in 2014, I tried to take my life when Archangel Michael appeared. Only reason why I'm here. In this video, I want to share with you my experience of being visited by Lord Shiva in a meditation I had about three weeks ago. Before I dive right into that, I just want to say, send out love to everyone that's being affected by the war right now on both sides, you know, the Ukrainian people and the Russians that disagree with this war, having their name drugged through the mud because of a president they don't agree with. So love to everybody being affected by the war. Now, about three weeks ago, I came home from work and I was experiencing some pain in my leg. And uh, I was just kind of frustrated. I was like, you know, I personally don't understand like when we ask, Jesus or the angels like can you heal me like I was just kind of like why doesn't it happen and I was kind of frustrated right and uh, I went off into just like I don't know what to call it like a zone state you know when you have your eyes open and you're not really focused on anything well, that's kind of what happened and uh, when I came to I was focused on this little Shiva medallion that I bought a long time ago growing up you know I was raised in my family's religion and uh, the only being I ever prayed to my whole life was Jesus you know I didn't know anything about angels until 2014 when I tried to start my car in my garage and a portal opened up in front of me <laughs> Archangel Michael his energy just overcame me and uh, you know there's words being spoken so I had to learn a few things and uh, I've spent a lot of time working with shamans and stuff and um, just doing some research. And so when I became more spiritual after 2014, you know, I, I became drawn to certain things and I didn't know too much about Shiva. I was in, uh, I believe it was Benyon Books and I seen this little medallion. I was like, this is cool. I just grabbed it and I put it in my meditation area and... Um, you know, there's kind of a story to go along with this. My whole life, um, I always had cobra statues coming my way and I could never figure out the symbolism. You know, once uh, I started to become more spiritual, I started looking into totem symbolism and all that kind of stuff, right? And I I know cobras are a symbol of power, but I never, I knew, always knew there was a bigger meaning behind this symbolism. I just could never figure it out. So... I'm sitting in my chair in my meditation area and I'm in that daze that I was talking about, right? Where I wasn't really focused on anything. And when I came to, my eyes were focused on this Shiva medallion and I noticed that he had a cobra in his hair. And it came to me right then and there that um, my connection to cobras throughout my life was actually symbolism linked to Lord Shiva so when I realized this I I you know the only thing I really knew about um, Shiva was that uh, he was known for being a destructor um, a, like known for destruction and um, when he incarnated on earth as a human when he became enlightened See, when you reach a certain level of enlightenment, <clears throat> they say what happens is you either forgive and become happy and try to help people or you become bitter. And um, I heard that when Lord Shiva was uh, uh, incarnated as a man on this planet, he became bitter once he became enlightened. Now, I personally... Um, for myself, just because of, you know, um, being in the presence, I've had a couple of visitations from Jesus and Archangel Michael and other beings since 2014. Um, being in their presence, it the energy that comes over your body and the information that's exchanged, it enlightens you to information. That's all enlightenment is. We're all enlightened, every single person, just to what degree, basically. And um, for me, um, the more enlightened I became about how things work on the other side and my life that I was given, I, be <clears throat> I became more bitter. So 
I'm sitting in this chair and I'm staring at this uh, Lord Shiva medallion and I'm, I'm uh, I just, you know, solved this lifelong riddle of these cobra symbolism. And I was like, okay, I was like, Lord Shiva, I'm like, if you can hear me, I heard you had a similar, you know, we kind of got some things in common. I was like, is there any way you could heal my leg? And instantly, um, the pain in my leg that I was experiencing for like six months, on and off, completely went away. Now it's been some time, and yes, I have experienced a little bit of pain, but for three days I didn't experience anything, and the pain has really subsided substantially. And um, I was blown away by this. I was like, holy cow, this is crazy, right? So I was like, okay, I'm going to go into meditation and I'm going to thank Lord Shiva for taking this pain away, right? So I closed my eyes and this is right after work. So a lot of my, you know, some of my videos, I talk about uh, plant medicine experiences. Okay, this is just straight up after work, no nothing, just a meditation. I just closed my eyes and I said, thank you, Shiva, for um, taking my, you know, the pain away. And... In my third eye, this blue being came to me and he was sitting cross-legged right in front of me and he had four hands and, and I can't do it on camera. They were, they were waving to the side, all four of his hands and they were going back and forth and they were blurry, they were hard to see. And the impression I got was that he was removing, he was doing something with energy. And uh, I actually didn't know that uh, Lord Shiva was sometimes represented as a blue being with four hands. So I didn't, even though I got the impression, I was like, this is Shiva. Like I, I got the impression that this is Lord Shiva, right? But I didn't really know. So I went online and I Googled like images of Lord Shiva. And sure enough, I see him as a blue being with four, ha four, four arms. I was like, wow, that's pretty crazy, man. It, it was for me anyways. I just thought I'd share this uh, quick experience I have with you guys. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. If you found this interesting, I appreciate your subscribe. Help my channel grow. Hope you have a great day. Take care.